Hey everybody, my name is Liz. I'm a farmer and I work for SARE, helping to coordinate some of our grants here in the North Central region. And if you're putting together a SARE grant proposal, a budget is a big piece of that puzzle. First and foremost, you might be wondering what can and can't be funded by a SARE grant. We have a whole video about that, but the basics are that you can only include things that are directly needed for your research, education, or demonstration project. That can include things like labor, materials and supplies, rent for land that's being used in the trial, um, supplies for outreach events, and so on. Right now, I'm just going to show you the nuts and bolts of how to fill out this section of the online application. We go into projects.sare.org, we log in, and then we either start a brand new grant proposal or maybe we already have one. And from here, we can click through to that draft. And it's going to let me see where we are so far. Today, I really want to work on my budget. So I'll click Budget and Justification. This page has a lot of instructions for how to fill out your budget, but you can actually minimize that with this minus sign and just get straight to the section where you're adding budget items. So again, if you need those instructions, they're right there. We also have loads of information and examples in the call for proposal. But if you've already drafted your budget and you're just ready to enter it into your proposal, you can come down here to the budget and justification section, click add a budget item. So let's just get the lay of the land here. You're gonna have to choose the category, include a description, and write out the details or justification and a total amount. I'm gonna walk you through each of those. Once those are all entered, you'll press save for each and every line item of your budget. It doesn't auto save. Look in the call for proposals for some details here, but in general for category, you're gonna choose between personnel, materials and supplies, travel, other direct costs or equipment. And an important note on equipment is what we call the 50% rule. Equipment is defined as any item that costs $5,000 or more with a useful life of more than a year. So if you've got something that fits that category that you need for your research or demonstration project, then you can include up to 50% of that cost in your SAIR budget. Next is the description. You're gonna provide a brief description of each item you want to purchase. And if it's a personnel line item, briefly list the role that that person plays in the project. The budget justification section can confuse folks. It does not mean that you have to justify why an item is needed for your project. Instead, this is where you show how you came up with the total amount that you're listing for that part of your budget. So we need you to include what item you're purchasing, what it costs per item, how many you need, and the total amount. So let's say a grantee is comparing mushroom production options. They're purchasing two packages of wine cap mushroom spawn, and those cost $30 each. So for their budget justification section, they would just write out wine cap mushroom spawn, two packages at $30 each equals $60. And then in the total amount, they would put $60. And press save. And now I have one line item in my budget. And I'm going to add another one. So maybe my next item is personnel. And it's going to be Farmer Liz to coordinate the data collection. And let's say. I'm going to work 20 hours at the USDA's recommended rate of $25 per hour. We fill in what that equals. We put the total amount here and we press save. And now we've got another line item. Um, we can keep doing this until we've got our full budget in here. At any point, if we need to go back to other sections of the proposal, we go to proposal overview and we can see the different options to choose from. A couple more notes on drafting your budget. We do not require matching funds of any kind, and we do encourage you to include labor. So the USDA says that a farmer's time ought to be valued at $25 an hour, and so we encourage you to use that figure or whatever figure makes sense, but we want farmers to be paid for their work on SARE projects. We do need you to round the nearest dollar. So let's say you're driving to a conference to present about your findings and how your project went, and it ends up 
totaling $58.30, you'd round down to $58. If you'd like to see some example budget line items, we've got those in the call for proposals for the different grant programs. So definitely take a look at those. The links are in the video description. And if you still have questions, reach out to the SARE staff. We'd be happy to walk you through um, how to make your budget because we want your project to succeed. Mm -hmm.